Hello everyone. Uh, welcome back to another lesson, Raspberry Pi. This video, uh, I'm going to show you how to connect Raspberry Pi to Microsoft Remote Desktop. Microsoft Remote Desktop is an awesome tool for con connecting your Raspberry Pi to another computer. And so this guide will help you to get it done quickly and easily. First of all, link up your Raspberry Pi and Microsoft Remote Desktop for remote control of your device. You'll, uh, you'll be able to access and manage applications, files, and operating system and everything. It's very easy. You don't need to have two monitors. Um, so I'm going to show you how to do that. So the first, check that both uh, Raspberry Pi and your computer you want to connect are on the same network. This could be via uh, Ethernet or Wi-Fi. So when I go to the Wi-Fi, see I connect to my uh, Wi-Fi, Tiny Icons Child Care, and I can see the IP address. Remember, you need to make sure you remember the IP address. Once you be done, we need to RDP to the uh, Raspberry Pi via the IP address. So write it down. Somewhere we just go to like this, highlight, and you can find the IP address. I will show you in the CLI command how to find the IP address too. But for now, you can see from here too. Okay. So in your Windows uh, PC, you also need to connect to the same Wi-Fi, same network. Got it? Now, first of all, uh, you need to go click in here and... On the Raspberry Pi, open the Raspberry Pi configuration menu. This is the one. After the preferences, you click the Raspberry Pi configuration. So you will pop up like this one. Um, on the top of the left corner menu, go to uh, interfaces and enable VMC option to allow remote access. I'm also going to enable SSH. Uh, in my free uh, next uh, lessons, I'm going to use SSH. I'm going to click OK. OK. Now we enable the VNC. OK. Next is uh, enable XRTP. Okay. So open the terminal window. Let me get the terminal window. And I'm going to make it a little bigger so we can see. Now, first of all, you need to update sudo apt update. It's a good practice to every time update. So you have the latest and greatest. And after sudo apt upgrade. Okay. So done, now uh, we need to install the uh, XRDP package to connect the remote desktop. Um, I'm going to use sudo apt install XRDP. Okay, because I already installed, I'm going to show you uh, this is how you need to install it. So I, I don't see much this, but when you do it first time, you will see a bunch of packages installing now uh, now we install the XRDP package uh, and the next is after the installation is complete uh, start the XRDP service so we do sudo uh, service XRDP and start okay it start so next um, so we need to make sure XRDP start automatically. Um, so what we need to do is sudo update rcd XRDP enable. Just enter. So it to make sure XRDP starts automatically. Nice. Uh, 
So make sure the VNC enable, you can use a VNC client. Okay. So let me go back here. Back here. Interfaces. The VNC is enabled. So uh, you can use a VNC client on your Windows PC or another device to connect to your Raspberry Pi PI's desktop. Keep in mind that XRDP is specially for connecting to the Raspberry Pi using Microsoft Remote Desktop, where VNC is more general method for remote desktop access and can be used with various VNC clients on a different platforms. Okay, now uh, we are done with the configuration in here. Uh, we need to jump in back to our Windows 11 box so we can RDP to the Raspberry Pi, this machine. Now, what you need from uh, remote desktop when you connect, you need to have your username and uh, password. So make sure, uh, oh, uh, username, password and IP address. Sorry. So that's the three uh, things you need. So if you want to know the username, you just type who am I? You can see this is the username, PI007. Even if you are lost somewhere, you also can see from here, PI007. You can find the username or even if you go to uh, Windows X, uh, actually the workplace, you will see in the home, you will see this name. So that means this is your username. So there's a uh, few options you can find your username. So now you know what's your username. And now let's go find the IP address. Uh, we go type host name. Okay, type I. Host name. I. Um, should be. Let me find it. Um, oh, I think I. I, I name dash i pass this is how you find your ip address so write it down your ip address and your uh, username and next is your password if you remember your password that's fine but if you don't know your password normally you go here preferences uh, raspberry pi configuration and change your password here can enter the new password very easy now I assume you uh, have the password and everything let's jump back to our uh, Windows 11 box okay I jump into my Windows 11 box now I'm going to open remote desktop connection okay this is remote desktop connection now uh, we know the IP address, so I just type the IP address. I'm going to hit connect. Okay, now you will see like this uh, login to Raspberry Pi. And what you need to do here is uh, uh, you use the XORG. Uh, you can play with this stuff and see, but I'm going to use this one. I'm going to use my uh, username, which we found out. And I'm going to use my password and click OK. Now, as you can see, I just uh, RDP to my machine, uh, my Raspberry Pi machine, and everything was there, which I was using. Um, so that's how you do it. Now, let me uh, disconnect and see to log in again. Uh, you can do is you can go to the show options okay in here show option just type your username uh, I'm going to use my PI 007 okay so save it will save now whenever you go uh, your username is here just click connect and you will come to here and you enter your password Bravo. Very good. 
So this is how you uh, enable and uh, configure your Raspberry Pi uh, machine connect from remote desktop from uh, Windows 10, Windows 11, any Windows computer you can RDP to your Raspberry Pi. Doing this, you don't need to have two monitors. You ha need only one monitor so you can you go back and forth. You can configure Raspberry Pi so you don't need to have a two, uh, uh, two monitors and a separate keyboard and mouse. It's, uh, you know, sometimes it's uh, tired um, to you don't have enough space to put everything. So this is, will be a good uh, uh, option to RDP to your Raspberry Pi so you can configure remotely and do your all your project. I'm going to do a lot of uh, Raspberry Pi uh, projects. Please uh, subscribe to my channel and give me a thumbs up. It will make me uh, my channel grow and I will see you on my next video. Thank you.